Harry says he's higher, at a higher level than all these people I just mentioned in the readings and stuff, including the Kennedys. So here is a mystery. <clears throat> Paul could be a horseman, but I really do think they, m they meant me. Plus, there's a lot of money in it, I'm sure. I don't really work. Power on. Bluetooth pairing. Bluetooth connected. doesn't work just you have to be recording or playing something so it doesn't work just with voice
Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably not overall. What the hell were all saying? Well, that was his night. Oh. No. No, I knew they were Irish, but I thought they were English too, and I think they are. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? See if it's nothing. Mm-hmm. It may have been both, but uh, more of that one. That was my last one. I I'm not pregnant. <coughs> I don't know. Honestly. 
I don't even have a guess to make the re re release of heavy metals and stuff more diluted or something. Store them in more fat. So they're more, you know, they're not as concentrated when I eliminate them. Because they could damage the elimination organs, right? Like the kidney and the bladder and the small intestine and then the bowel. Well, sounds like it. I mean, that's not just from food and crappy water. Well, injection. Just a bonus. What do you mean? Well, I had the trauma of my life, you know. I thought I gained 30 pounds. Just shut up. Were you listening to the answer or not? So just shut up and chew on the answer for a while. So. I may be bloating up with extra fat to dilute the heavy metals in my system. Right. Um, God had me order 4X shorts today instead of 3X because I am fatter around the tummy. So, not really. So I think my heavy metal problem um, is more serious than you'd get from food and water. You know, crappy water system or something. So they must have injected me with heavy metals. I mean, the mercury in my amalgams is just, I called it a bonus, it's just a bonus. So I guess I'm not gonna use the MSM, MMS, to relieve my bone pain because it's a, it's a heavy metal problem. A heavy metal problem, not a bacterial problem not a bacterial problem but my bones hurt again especially my legs I'm 99% that it can't be metal in my head I think my Electronic implants, implant or implants, were titanium. Even in the early 60s. No. Do I want to? Well, yes. Mm -hmm. God says titanium would show up on an x ray. I never got to see the x-rays that Dr. Goldberg had taken for me. He had, get, he had ordered me a CAT scan, and I never got to see the x-rays. I pestered the x-ray technician. Well, I didn't pester him, but I tried to look at the, x, at the x-rays of my head as they came out of the machine. I kind of made a fuss about it. Okay. Titanium is a chemical element. Titanium is a chemical element with the symbol Ti on atomic number 22. 
It is a lustrous transition metal with a silver color, low density, and high strength. Titanium is resistant to corrosion in seawater, aqua regia, and chlorine. It's the element AR. No, maybe not. It doesn't say. TI. It's the element TI. So it's a metallic with silver color and low density. I may also be releasing it from my muscles. I think even a low density metal would show up on x-ray. Titanium metal is used as an alloying agent with metals including aluminum, iron, molybdenum, and manganese. Alloys of titanium are mainly used in aerospace, aircraft, and engines where strong, lightweight, temperature-resistant materials are needed. What are six surprising facts about titanium? It's twice as strong as aluminum when compared to aluminum. Titanium is roughly twice as strong. It's naturally resistant to corrosion. It doesn't occur naturally. It is used for medical implants. There you go. Number four. Me and Paul's lucky number. Only 0.63% of the Earth's crust is titanium. It has a high melting point. Yeah. It'd be nice to see when it was discovered. Is titanium harmful to the human body? Titanium is considered the most biocompatible metal not harmful or toxic to living tissue due to its resistance to corrosion from bodily fluids. This ability to withstand the harsh bodily environment is a result of the protective oxide film that forms naturally in the presence of oxygen. Titanium is the perfect metal to make replacement human body parts. Titanium is usually cheaper than white gold, however, because of its hardness, titanium is not as easy to work with. In such cases, the additional labor costs may make the price of titanium ring of a titanium ring comparable to that of a white gold one. Titanium is obtained from various ores that occur naturally on the earth. The primary ores used for titanium production include ilmenite, leucosine, and rutile. Other notable sources include anatase, perovskite, and svena, svena something. Rutile is relatively pure titanium dioxide, TiO2. Titanium and two oxygens.
Hmm. It says titanium is the fourth most abundant metal. Making up about 0.62% of the Earth's crust. Rarely found in its pure form, titanium typically exists in minerals such as anatase, brookite, ilmenite, leucoxine, perovskite, rutile, and sphene. S P H E N E. While titanium is relatively abundant, it continues to be expensive because it is difficult to isolate. The leading producers of titanium concentrates include Australia, Canada, China, India, Norway, South Africa, and Ukraine. In the United States, the primary titanium producing states are Florida, Idaho, New Jersey, New York, and Virginia. There are four types of titanium. Alpha phase, lowest strength, but they are formable and weldable. Alpha plus beta alloys have high strength. Near alpha alloys have medium strength, but have good creep resistance. Beta phase alloys have the highest strength of any titanium alloys, but they're also, they also lack ductility which could be conductivity. The aerospace industry is the largest user of titanium products. It is typically used for airplane parts and fasteners. These same properties make titanium useful for the production of gas turbine, turbine engines. It is also used for parts such as the compressor blades, casings, engine cowlings, and heat shields. Titanium is used in the production of human implants because it has good compatibility with the human body. One of the most notable recent uses of titanium is in artificial hearts first implanted in a human in 2001. Other uses of titanium are in hip replacements, pacemakers, defibrillators, and elbow and hip joints. It is used in the manufacture of such things as shoes, jewelry, computers, sporting equipment, watches, and sculptures. As titanium dioxide is used as a white pigment in plastic, paper, and paint, it is even used as a white food coloring and as a sunscreen in cosmetic problems. Most historians credit William Gregor, G-R-E-G-O-R, for the discovery of titanium. In 1791, he was working with Menachonite, a mineral found in England, when he recognized a new element and published its results. The element was rediscovered a few years later in the War or Rutal by Mr. M. H. Klaproth, a German chemist. Klaproth named the element titanium after the mythological giants, the Titans. There was a movie, something of the Titans. Football, high school football. The first significant isolation of nearly pure titanium was accomplished in 1875 by Krilov in Russia. K-I-R-I-L-L-O-V. Isolation of the pure metal was not demonstrated until 1910 when Matthew Hunter and his associates, associates 
reacted titanium tetrachloride with sodium in a heated steel bomb. This process produced individual pieces of titan pure titanium. In the mid twenties, a group of Dutch scientists created a small created small wires of pure titanium by conducting a dissociation reaction of titanium tetra tetriodide. Kroll. These demonstrations prompted William Kroll, K R O L L, to begin experimenting with different methods for effectively isolating titanium. These early experiments led to the development of, of a process for isolating titanium by reduction with magnesium in 1937. This process, now called the Kroll process, is still the primary process for producing titanium. The first products made from titanium were introduced around the 1940s and include such things as wires, sheets, and rods. So it was produced and manufactured and all that, and I would have had my surgery in 63, I think. The same year Kennedy was shot. And I don't know the month of my surgery. I was never even told I had surgery. Um, actually, I don't know, because the surgery when I was four was removal of part, the part of my right brain above my right ear, which is spiritual spiritual visions and things like that. Okay. And I'm gonna ask, does titanium show up on x-ray? Because if it does, then the doctors, then the doctors who x-rayed me, my head, and uh, I have to think. K wires and titanium both show up on x rays after patients have had surgery. You should discuss this concern with your surgeon, of course. Now, my son was uh, supposed to have an MRI when he was four. And I called Donna and I said, Don't I have any, you know, metal in my head that you know of? Because I'm going to accompany Rich to an MRI. And she said, No. But I suspected that I had some metal on this side of my head. So, the K wires might be the wires used to implant it in my back neck area 
and in my brain and in my brain to stimulate depression, sexual appetite, stuff like that. K wires and titanium both show up on X-rays after the patients have had surgery. You should discuss this concern with your surgeon, of course. I had a CAT scan that Dr. Goldberg, neuro, neurologi, neurologist, North Miami, um, he had the Montanary Hialeah uh, School for, well, emotionally unstable boys or something. I worked at Montanary Sea Camp in Tavernier, Florida. Anyway, my wires and implant, or implants, must have shown up on x-ray and he just kept it from me. For some reason I haven't sent away for the x-rays. I did inquire about it once and the x-ray department never got back to me. I have to think of the name of the hospital. I don't remember. Metal detectors don't literally detect metal material, but the magnetic field that metal produces. Titanium is non-ferrous, so it has an extremely low magnetic field, so minute that titanium is widely considered a non-magnetic metal. Therefore, the airport medical detectors are not set off. Because I've been through those. Metal detectors and never set one off. Titanium metal connects well with bone, so it has found surgical applications such as in joint replacements, especially hip joints, and tooth implants. Surgical tools can be made out of titanium. Mobile phones, prosthetics, jewelry, Certain titanium elements are bulletproof.
So, my shoulder implants titanium, and I've just assumed that my um, brain implant on the left side of my head is titanium, even though that was, um, would have been, I assume, I don't know. I don't know when the left side of my brain was implanted. I haven't found any scars on my skull on the left side. So I don't know. But anyway, it would have been the early 60s or the early 70s when I had the implant. In the it had to be before I was age 12 because when we lived at Treasure Island, on Treasure Island at the Anchorage Apartments, I had a problem with my left eye. And I complained often enough that, believe it or not, Donna took me to see an eye doctor or an optician, not an optician, an optometrist or something. And he said I had a weak left eye muscle, and he gave me exercises to do involving focusing, bringing my finger in and focusing it on the way in for 10 minutes twice a day or something. And that took care of the problem. Otherwise, I would have had to wear prism glasses so I don't want to lose my son, but I don't think of him very often.
I think I'm all caught up. Well, I was supposed to work from 3.45 p.m. today to 5.45 p.m. and then go on to her next client for two hours. And she just texted me a few minutes ago and said she's...
ってるんで I'm going to stop recording and call this one titanium.